Again, on the put side, it's going to reduce your overall credit. But if you don't have that trading level to be able to do short naked options, then this is the next best thing is to go very wide on credit spreads on either end, basically making a synthetic strangle. Okay, so that's really the plan here for U.S. Steel. We're going to kind of ride it out for the rest of this week coming up. It's a very short week. We wanted to make this adjustment before the long weekend, hoping to get a couple extra days of time decay. So that's why we kind of waited until the end on Friday to make this adjustment because now we get three days of extra time decay so that when this thing opens up on Monday, hopefully, or on Tuesday, hopefully if there's no adjustment in the trade, we're going to see a nice little contraction in the strangle. Again, it's going to quickly help make some money back on this trade and, and try to protect this position going forward. So hopefully that was a huge tutorial on that. Again, we're going to talk a lot about making adjustments and kind of the mechanics behind making different types of adjustments in the group coaching webinar that we're doing uh, next week. So make sure you go ahead and sign up for that. All right, so two new opening trades that we did make today. Both of these were vertical call spreads. What we looked at in our portfolios that we found is that we actually need to add a little bit of long delta to our portfolio. So if the market does continue to move higher, not to say that we definitely think it will. I think it's short term overbought. It could be moving down. But we want to add some positions that take advantage of possibly a move higher in the market. So we did that today or on Friday with AXP, which is American Express, and V. 